attention to my tips and tricks. That's a pyramid scheme. No! It's a conical tier multi flow through medical marketing entity. Absolutely. Prove it! She's your own customer, Steve! An essential oil party? It's a scam. You give them money and they just take it. All the red flags just look like flags. It'll tip over. We have gas. You were supposed to have cleaned up all these quality products. She needs an oil vention. Stupid cult. They label their financial records financial records like dummies. This isn't a scheme. It's a scheme. <laughs> it's very yeah, funny <laughs> you guys can't see us in the green room but i can see michelle i don't know can you see me I can see you yeah okay oh that's right because you have permissions and yeah. we're always dancing like there's always a new dance that we're doing in <laughs> you <laughs> can't not dance in it's green not room. intentional like that is a great beat are you kidding <laughs> right as soon as taylor is like prove it i'm like boop 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> They labeled their oh, yeah. financial records, financial records. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. So um, we're going to talk about so many things that happened this weekend. I can't even. Okay. So oh. over the weekend, uh, there were, there was news of at least, <laughs> well, there's news of two MLM shutting down officially. And then last night I got some news of a third MLM that is possibly shutting down, but is definitely having financial trouble which is first, what we're going to do is we're going to watch my video that was on TikTok that I put out. I put a lot of work into this, trying to like close all the loops and, and read this email that came out from Peter Rancy, who is the founder and CEO. Well, one of the founders and CEOs, um, along with Richard Smith, like that was the whole thing um, of Transact Card uh, that is now or was Finmore and this whole thing. Nilo Life is not attached, right. but Nilo Life is another it's it's okay so like nilo life is the amway to like transact cards neutralite <laughs> gotcha like yeah. the these yeah, yeah. people came left transact card and started basically the exact same thing right it's a fun video we're gonna watch it because it's like it's like a spin-off where like none of the main cast are involved <laughs> No, there's there's oh, there's quite a bit of the main cast, but it's it's an interesting thing. Let's watch the video. All okay. right. <laughs> this is on my TikTok. I like that sass in the thumbnail, even. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're snapping. <laughs> I've got a huge update. I didn't know. I mean, I had a pretty good idea. Yeah. But I didn't know when I made this video back in July that I would be receiving this email. <laughs> at 4.58 p.m. on Friday, April 12th. Five o'clock on a Friday, that's mighty LuLaRoe of you. <laughs> it reads, transact slash Finmore going offline. Just got this email with this attachment. Sad day for all anonymously. those that still had hope all this like time. Like incognito mode. And I agree, it is a sad day. That is exactly why I make the content that I make. I warn you ahead of time so that you are not on the receiving end of emails like this. So let's get into it. Announcing the complete and immediate shutdown of Transact Card and Finmore, including all operations, websites, social media sites, emails, customer service, and correspondence channels. Do, the letter starts. Do, do. We have all been frustrated by delays in delivery of the marketplace and the repeated need to replace contracted banks and card issuers because I did of federal and state regulatory issues beyond our control. Do you mean like laws <laughs> and the incessant noise that surrounds the direct sales industry? Okay, now I feel attacked. <laughs> it's giving, and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those pesky kids. Yeah, it's very scary now, of them. The ability of Transact Card and Finmore to achieve their respective <laughs> missions has been eroded irreconcilably yep. <laughs> by the Gina. launch there, of Gina. The competitive operation. We haven't gotten there yet. Oh, we'll get there, if you're Gina. Talking about Nilo life. Uh, they're next. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm also so excited about how this changes our MLM conference presentation. <laughs> I know Julie just got a kick out of that. Because that was all the right, company that was shutting As a result of this down. last factor, know, most digital communication all channels so have been fast. polluted with a social media civil war <laughs> that is still escalating. Why do you want to be persecuted so badly? 
Rather than investigate or social media any civil war against a group who? of individuals who may have founded or migrated to this new competitor with cross recruiting or breaches of non disclosure agreements or other possible contract There's going to be so many lawsuits. Both Transact Card and Finmore oh will God. cease all like, operations like, dude, immediately. Another like so, white boomer guy like that? reacted Finmore. to my post Let's about Finmore yesterday. I do not blame like, any competitor for the delays or mistakes of Transact Card or so Finmore. So now Julie's However, content is getting to them. Getting on with the work of yeah. Transact Card, for the most of That's 2024, right. the changeover to Finmore has taken precedence. This migration was requested by the Field Leadership Council and not initiated by corporate. It wasn't corporate. Don't the look at us. The new competitive entity was swiftly created by and it promoted was by cult. a number of the same <laughs> leaders who had advocated moving to Finmore. Oh, oh yeah. I'm oh. fully aware. Julie Anderson and I did a live about this on YouTube a couple weeks ago. <laughs> we told them all out. Let's too. be clear that they're talking about <laughs> Neolife when they say competitor. Uh, it was super. launched even before Finmore had the chance to release its store and commissionable products. In hindsight, <laughs> maybe the you should have had a fucking product. <laughs> a distraction on all fronts. It's time to end the social media civil unrest <laughs> and the ensuing mayhem. Let's make it perfectly clear here about who's doing all of these culty attacks because. <laughs> It's not me. <laughs> I am literally reporting the news in a genre that is my niche. <laughs> and before you guys say, I don't understand why you're wasting your time, <laughs> this is my job. So, not a waste. Well, trashy, pass Falcon. Of Transact Card and Finmore cannot be fulfilled in this environment. Both companies will cease all operations immediately. We'll continue in a sec, but I have one question. <laughs> What about the Z Bucks and the Fin credits? What happens to those? Note the new competitive entity, Nilo Life, has <laughs> never been part of Transact Card slash Finmore. Of course, there are multiple potential and actual conflicts of interest embedded in these happenings the crossover activities of certain field leaders, the crossover <laughs> of legal counsel, and the crossover of the technology team. This to is name a few. so passive Once aggressive. Again, while all of these items are subject to They're further so consideration like, by outside legal counsel, it wasn't us. no accusation is made this is your fault. Taken all together, the effects have been compounding. From now, the new entity's success or failure can rise or fall based on merit, but without having access to Transact Card or Finmore's platforms or people to postulate positions. Whew, I gotta hand it to you. That alliteration was pretty good, Peter. <laughs> The contracted institutional spending investment and give commercial credit partners when credit's who there. are essential to our <laughs> successful outcomes are no longer willing to enter into the compounded, noisy environment of transactions. We were never willing in the first place. And then this sentence, which in my opinion, I allege didn't actually happen. They desire to partner with us no, they in don't. a clean corporate environment. No, they don't but not in the current muddied water. No, they won't. I don't won't. think any banking or financial institution no. wants anything to do with the pyramid scheme, even a little even bit. Even a little bit. <laughs> so even, if you were a member of Transact Card or <coughs> Finmore, what does this mean for you? Well, one, all employees and contractors of Transact Card and Finmore have ceased their engagements. There will be no further correspondence from either entity. There will be no corporate correspondence from me until further notice. This may be frustrating, but it is necessary for the present while we Thank plan you, next. Thank you, Absolutely. My it email is. address will be the <laughs> really, really correspondence link way. channel maintained for those entities. It's your fault. I will address all necessary items from whomever in their order all and they within know. available means. Naturally, and I'll get your email if I want products to. products and services have ceased. Legal teams are working on that Bible salesman doc last night. Card and I mean, they were just <laughs> saying all these quiet parts out loud. Dude was like, assets. if you fail, Finally, that's I your fault. That some will completely lose faith and some will stay the course. I will respect your decisions either way. <laughs> I don't know who, after being through the ringer with Transact Card, and then Finmore, seeing all of this happen, watching all of my videos, watching Julie's videos, watching everybody else that has been reporting on this, and still having faith in this system? What? <laughs> Do you think I like being right about this stuff? <laughs> Do you understand why I make these videos now? Look Moving what you on. made me do. Will there be next? <laughs> Possibly. But only with proper timing it's true, and though. an orderly manner. I called I every single door, thing that happened, and I was called a hater every card, single time I did it. Card. 
the last two years of your efforts and ours have proven beyond doubt the need and desire for many people to this enjoy This isn't the for the anti Mullen community. This is for Finn Moore and trans I figured people. out this scam. You gave me shit for nine months. You're telling me that there's an additional 15 months where people were being scammed before I, I heard I about it that it's just years. lost to the wind? So let's look at the social impact missions that are causing people to blindly join pyramid schemes. It got hot. I had to turn on the fan. Increased buying power for ordinary Americans outside of discount stores, coupons, credit card points, big box stores, community driven rather than shareholder driven. Credit unions are for a reinvigoration of the community banking credit sector unions again. and sustainable home based business units. Mm -mm. Then I would highly suggest getting out of the pyramid scheme sector. While Transact Card and Finmore will Good no advice. longer be a part of that mission, the mission has not ceased. There are many of you, plus numerous investors and a bountiful supply of vendors and service providers who want to continue that mission. Don't worry, wherever you go, the incessant noise will follow. In due course, you <laughs> I was inspired by Bill. presented with a program designed yeah. to realize the I mission. Can tell. Well, it can <laughs> only be presented and released if it includes an already built and fully functioning so store you should send loaded with a broad array of mission centric suppliers. Next time we'll make sure we have the stuff of before we open. Compensation systems suitable for multiple distribution platforms no, and markets. A well capitalized have and it's fully prepped money operating grab. team. Wait, did you not have that? <laughs> fully Banks, prepped and operating cards, team. And other requisite institutions. Next time we'll partners. get that too. And based on my videos, we know they didn't have that. An international platform that allows global alliances to operate alongside the U.S. Are they going to team up with on passive? Good fucking luck. <laughs> A pre-registration process designed to recognize and reward those who have stayed the course. Stayed the course. Sounds so like cringy. an MLM to me. And then this gaslit flaming cherry on top. I readily acknowledge the frustration that so many of you have experienced. <laughs> Thank you for your patience and shared sense of I mission. I acknowledge it. Sincerely, Peter R. Rancy, April 12th, 2024. Whoa. And another pyramid scheme is shut down thanks to the incessant noise <laughs> of social media activists. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's right. But let me show you something that's really cool. All if right. you go to transactcard.com, it says, we heard you. Ex exciting news. Please excuse the enrollment interruption while we prepare to announce a complimentary suite of products and services this coming week. What? I don't know when they put this up, but this was there. <laughs> this was this obviously to me, allegedly, in my opinion, looks like we don't want people to know we're shutting down. So let's just put this up saying we're working on something currently. And then it's announced that we're closed. Sorry, never mind. So I just thought that was really funny. Oh my god! That what that was there. The hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just, it's it's wild. So um, let me find the next thing. We're gonna watch that. What is this? Okay. Okay, I don't need this. There's so many things. I just want to have the. Okay, so this is the next thing we're going to talk about. So I, I've talked about cute. This is the direct selling news. This is straight from the horse's ass's mouth and um, <laughs> straight from the horse's ass. Maybe I don't even have to say mouth. Um, hi, Aaron. <clears throat> MLMs shouldn't be legally allowed to operate on the premise of a future product. I agree because that's absolutely a pyramid scheme like that's not even playing around so this um article that we're looking at right here came out in um february and it says okay. awakened and q sciences enter into a strategic um, partnership for, for anyone who's just listening awakened spelled really stupidly obviously mm -hmm. awake in a a it's like weekend kind wait. of wait oops and then end it's just missing an e awakened right yeah. Yes, there should be another E between the these. So anyway, so, it's just so an MLM thing. <laughs> Awakened is I from what I could gather is a relatively newish MLM that sells 
a health and wellness. They have like a spray and a fat pill and like an energy pill I've and like a sleep. Them. All the same, right? All I heard of the them when they were stuff. launching. Yeah. Yeah. It launched last year at some time. I, I don't know. Um, and honestly, I really do feel like that they use random word generators and then just remove vowels or replace oh, them yeah. with umlauts and macrons and accents. They're like, yeah. oh, you know what this could use? An accent. No. Um, the Awakened. It sounds like a... Yeah, it's like The weekend. <laughs> it sounds like a bad punk band that nobody wants on Warp Tour. So this is... Oops. <laughs> Warp Tour. Did you see my new profile oh. picture? Um, no. Oh, yes, oh, no, I did. On I did, Facebook, I did. With your, that would have been... I had that... that same lock necklace. You and I would have been really good friends. We were just 10 years apart. Yeah, we were... I was, it was just we, were we just missed each ships other. Also, passing in the night, different states. We True. Would have, yeah, yeah, totally. But and, um, and I would have just lost my shit if I uh, if I knew you because you knew <laughs> newfound glory, and I just I wouldn't have been able to handle it personally. I was a very uh, unstable child. It would have been <laughs> it would have been cool to have a friend to like go to things with and appreciate. None of my friends are into it. Okay, so um, this was just said it was a strategic partnership i don't know what happened uh i mean now i do but i don't know what was going on then but apparently they decided that they were going to merge together and that awakened was going to sort of have this thing um and then if you look on behind mlm you can see this it says q sound and this is in march so just a, a month after that the article about the strategic partnership we find out that Q Sciences is purchased by Awaken founder Rodney James, which is this guy right here. Boop. Um, and it's just. Oh, uh, I've seen this show before. This is exactly what happened with Perfectly Posh when Innovative, uh, innovative bought them. Or Innovate. And right. they owed a bunch of money uh, like to their investors and innovative, like came in and bought them and tried to like not pay that off and like find legal reasons to like get out of paying it off. Yeah. Even though they purchased the company. So this article adds a little bit of context to maybe why there was a merger. It says a dispute over unpaid commissions has revealed awakened founder. Rodney James has purchased Q sciences behind MLM noted that Awakens Zenith supplement, which is like their flagship product was being sold through Q sciences last month in February, a week after this update, James purchases Q sciences was framed as the strategic partnership. So again, this is like, Hmm, what's going on? And there were anti MLM activists that were covering this. Um, I've covered Q sciences in the past. I'm not usually like on the up and up with all the, the bumbling and grumbling on the inside. Um, I just don't have that kind of time to like look into that, but I got so much stuff this weekend and I had the time that I was like, okay, let me look into this. Um, and again, like I've talked about Q sciences. I have I'd never talked about awaken before, but I have talked about Q sciences um, extensively and, and how I believe they are a pyramid scheme. So, um, this article just kind of goes on to say that, um, why he purchased it is undisclosed. It's unclear or, or why the purchase was openly disclosed is unclear. Like why he told everybody, um, and awakened products were being sold on Q science's website. And I believe Q science products were also being sold on um on a uh, awakens website or whatever like back and forth there was yeah. also um oh no it says there's no mention of q sciences on awakened okay so awakened is on q sciences but q sciences is not on awakened okay, um so and then that's actually just because I think that's like exactly what Innovative did. Like they started selling their products on Posh's website, but they didn't actually change their website to include Posh's products. Okay. So they like kind of, that's how it was clear that they were like kind of taking over it and absorbing okay. it rather than um, rebranding themselves to. Right. Like adding the new products to the old website so that when they, when that website merges in, it's the products. Right. Are they familiar. were kind of. Yeah, they were kind of pushing right. out perfectly posh as a brand and like slowly converting their products over to the new brand. Right. So um, a little further down in the article, it talks about these top earners. Um, it says the dispute confirmed that James purchase of Q Sciences 
um, in the in Instagram post <clears throat> is either deleted or unblocked, so I couldn't see it. Um, and this comes from top earner Meryl Filipponi. I think that's how you say it. In a statement from the desks, blah, blah, blah. We will not miss mince words. We have no choice because of the lies, manipulation, and inappropriate behavior that we have endured at the hands of co-owner and then president of Q Sciences, Jake Spencer. So Q Sciences was started by this guy named Mark Wilson, who I guess it was like a football player back in the day. And then they relaunched. Uh, sometime in like 2000, 2001, when all the people were started to join Q Sciences again, which is sort of when I started picking up and talking about it because a lot of people on my Facebook page were selling it. And that's when I started looking into it, which is usually mm -hmm. how I look into MLMs. Um, and apparently around that time, because I'm talking to somebody right now who I'm hoping will come on the show um, and, and talk about Q Sciences because we haven't really had one of those episodes um, she sent me a lot of this stuff and, and she's been talking to me about this, but she said around 2020 or 2021, she doesn't remember. That's when this guy, Jake Spencer sort of entered the chat and became like co-owner and president. And like, they revamped it and like relaunched it. There were so many people that were like, it's a ground floor opportunity. And I kept making videos on, I'm like, no, Q sciences is 10 years old. Like it's been around since right. 20, 2015 or, or 2000 and eight or something. I forget what it was, but I was like, no, it's like 10 years old. Like we're, we're no. Um, so it says as shameful as it seems, it appears no one within this network is beyond the reach of his unethical conduct, including a substantial amount of field leaders and corporate employees who have shared with us about the emotionally abusive and immoral conduct of Mr. Spencer. Nothing we haven't heard before. Right. Unfortunately, problems began for Q science top earners when commission checks began drying up the second half of 2023. During our time with Q Sciences, our individual businesses have fluctuated because of the ebbs and flows that are part of any business. This decline in our checks and those who worked with us, though alarming, was only part of the reason we felt the need to seek opportunities elsewhere that would be <clears throat> complementary to what we've established with Q Sciences. <clears throat> and I think, um, well, so then what happened is these women right here, <coughs> who were like top Q Science people, they've mm -hmm. created a okay, so digital that, that course. The mm -hmm. woman in the front, I this think, one? yeah, I think that, yeah, one? that one is the Mariel. Okay. Is yeah, I right? don't know. I Looking don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. not That's Mariel, Phil Pony, Chris, Kristen Wyatt, Claudia Gonzalez. She's probably and the blonde. Hitch. So I'm not sure. Um, okay. But these four women who were top sellers, they decided to create um, a course called the digital course, like a training mm -hmm. course, yeah. <laughs> which was a master resell rights. Totally. Yeah. Behind MLM doesn't call it an MLM. I think it's enough MLM adjacent because of the the affiliate program where you can bring people in and make your own thing and continue it. It's very MLM to me. I'm not gonna if, mince potatoes. If you're gonna like, you make I mean? vastly more money doing that than right following the steps of the course, right. then yes. <laughs> so these women created the digital course and um the digital course itself sees newly recruited participants gift upfront payments. So I believe that they're doing possibly like a gifting loom. Mm. And then the course is free. Like the course comes with it. So it's really strange, but this sort of links back to a few weeks ago. I made a video about gifting looms Yeah, because someone reached out to me saying there's this weird course where they're doing this get like, I don't understand what this is. Oh. I believe this might be the same thing. And yeah. it, I, I would have to dig a little bit, but like things are clicking about the master resell rights, which we already know is scammy in and of itself. Um, and then this gift payments, these upfront gift payments. I lost which the Facebook friends at MRR the, last week. <laughs> well, you know, like these get you into, it gets you, it's a pyramid scheme, but it, it, it's a pyramid scheme from the top up. So it's like a circle and there's eight and then four and then two and then one. So I believe if this is a gifting per thing, you, you pay to get in the spot on different mm -hmm. priced boards. Right. That makes sense. And then when you get other people to fill in, then everybody takes a step forward. And because there's less spots, it splits in half. And the two people at the top are now, split and they're now the, their own single centers sorry again and then it, everybody moves up and 
fills in spots. So I'm pretty sure this is a gifting loom scam. I don't know for yeah. sure. But you know, but if, you, if you sure. take a circle with rings and then you just like turn it this way, it's right. basically a pyramid. <laughs> A circular pyramid or like an octagon pyramid. It's a cone. It's a, con a conical pyramid. <laughs> yeah. And and Oz even talks about, although it's mostly died out, master resale rights, MLM pyramid schemes were a thing in the 2000s and the 2010s. And they're back. I just, maybe he doesn't know that they're back, but they're absolutely back. And I've seen, we've seen it. Like I've done videos on the new master resale rights of the 2023 last mm -hmm. year kind of thing. So, um, so this was like another secondary thing okay i didn't know about any of this until last night i had to beef up so <clears throat> this morning or last night and then we'll get into the video um i there is share this tab instead last night there's this article and this woman that has been she's literally been talking to me about like transact card and then so she sent me this she's like oh my gosh look this came out on the ds uh dsn direct selling news <clears throat> and says Awakened dissolve it dissolve is <laughs> dissolve <coughs> dissolve is <laughs> it's not how you pronounce that. That's speak it's English. Not a name. Yeah. <laughs> Awakened dissolves partnership with Q Sciences. Uh that came out, let's see, yesterday. Yeah. Um Awakened has issued a public statement announcing the dissolution of the company's partnership with Q Sciences. Initially revealed in January, the collaboration between the two organizations presented a shared vision of uniting two purpose-driven movements, blah, 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 product-backed science, blah, 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 global opportunities, nearly 100,000 representatives. In the process and finalizing the agreement, due diligence into Q Science uncovered new information that rendered the par partnership unfeasible. Furthermore, it became clear that there was a fundamental misalignment in vision, mission, and business practices, making it impossible to proceed. And this is the statement. And then we're going to read, we're going to watch the company wide zoom like statement where they tell a lot more than that is in this statement. Despite our profound disappointment and having to withdraw from Q Sciences to safeguard the integrity of our company and support our dedicated, passionate members, we are confident it was, nece it was the necessary course of action, said Awakened owner and CEO Rodney James. Proceeding in partnership with a company whose path diverges significantly from ours was not something we could in good conscience endorse. Our commitment to the Awakened mission remains steadfast and does our dedication as does our dedication to fostering opportunities for our members to achieve personal and professional success. Now, I know he owns an MLM, right. but I really liked what he said here um, because he's like, they're a bigger scam than we are and we're not going to partner with them. <laughs> uh, right. It's just very interesting. So There are levels. <laughs> so Right. There are levels of scam here and we're just not uh, willing to be that horrific. Um, so... What happened was then last night, this woman says, you I mean, have Q to... Sciences is pretty horrific. <laughs> right. Oh, let me show you this. This is also something that I, that she sent me this morning and then we'll watch. Well, no, let's watch the video first. Cause I think it's funnier. Okay. Fun, not funnier. Like, ha 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 ha. But just like it flows like the, the shock value and everything just flows better. So let's, let's share this tab instead. And we are going to meet, um, the CEO, the owner, whatever, um, this this couple update on awakened Q science partnership shared screen with speaker view. So you said this is the guy that wrote the statement. This is the yes. This is read? Rodney okay. that that Rodney wrote, James uh, Rodney James that did the statement. Yeah. Hi, awakened nation. Hi, everyone. Hi. I hope that you guys all had a beautiful weekend <laughs> filled with a whole. People lot of send them to her, Gina. <laughs> news we are going to share great, with you today great followers really news we were expecting to share but i will say that we have all lived life long enough to know that we create hopes and expectations because we are human and oftentimes when those are expectations aren't met we are saddened but we also eventually look back and end up being grateful that our expectations didn't become reality because what happened instead led to something even more grand and even more in alignment. So if we could be vulner vulnerable with you all, we'd love to share an expectation that we had that has not been met. 
But as we look back, we are overwhelmingly grateful. It hasn't been. Met. These people are back awakened. in November. We were introduced to Jake at Q Sciences by a they mutual awakened, friend in yes. the industry. And during our first meeting with Jake, he described that Q Sciences was at an impasse and needed financial assistance in order to pay commissions that week. Yeah. As an owner of a company, we yeah. felt filling the tea. And, yeah. and we do that. If we were in that position, we would hope that Rodney. someone they didn't would even have money to pay their commissions. So soon after that initial call with Jake, Ashley and I wired that's exactly what happened to, to Q Sciences. So the commissions to their hard working sales. Two hundred and seventy five thousand. But we all signed an agreement promising that like this money would be repaid the following month are like in December. Not stable. Throughout December, we had multiple right. conversations. Or like with a system, Jake like there's a way to do it. how Awakened and Q Sciences yeah. complimented each other. Oh yeah, this is going to really bother. We Tyler. talked about alignment. <laughs> he hates vision, it when people don't have um, art on the wall. A passion wall. for the future, and realized that by working together, and not a like beautiful IKEA partnership art. could be formed. <laughs> And we are committed to expanding the Awakened mission globally. Oh, and with the international here. markets Q Science has offered, we were excited to sign a memorandum of understanding at the end of December. An MOU, a lot of people yes, call it. Yes, this, this MOU stated <laughs> the M -O -U. intent to merge operations and have Ash and I become 85% majority owners of the merged entity with Jake and Sarah Spencer at 15% ownership. Upon the signing of this MOU, we agreed to not collect the initial $275,000, and we continued to offer some more financial assistance, infusing a total of $796,000 into Q Sciences Nearly to maintain its business dollars. operations. However, in, in February, addition, we uncovered that the debt initially disclosed was not a true representation of the total debt that Q Sciences was facing. Me and other awakened executives put our reputations on the line to meet with the Q Sciences creditors in order to lower the debt payments to be more in line with the current revenues. Uh, additionally, because of the level of the debt and the strict terms surrounding, I mean, the they're debt, doing the everything MOU they can. Business wise, majority ownership couldn't be upheld to save However, another scam. However, we kept a positive outlook and we continued mm. to be mindful of the potential the partnership offered to both sales fields. So we proceeded in good faith with the promise from Mark Wilson, Q Sciences owner and founder, that a way forward would be found. Even without a final agreement in place, we did everything possible to support that, Q Tyler. Sciences, and including allowing them to move into the Awaken office when Q Sciences was evicted from their building for non-payment. <laughs> we also allowed Q Sciences to sell Zenith and Uplift on a mass scale in order to help minimize the backorder issue due to their inability to replenish Q Sciences well, products. We saw the proof of that. Then in mid-March, a Q Sciences leadership group went public via this Instagram with truth. statements about Jake's behavior. Yep. These statements created extreme unrest in the awakened field. And we want to firmly state that the behavior described in these statements goes against everything we personally stand for and what Awaken stands for. Amidst these issues, we discovered more debt, and we also discovered significant operational issues across many international markets. As we've continued, continually mentioned, expanding the Awaken mission into these markets was one of the major values of the partnership. So uncovering the current state of these markets was concerning. So after more than three months, there has been no mm. definitive agreement reached despite they our best were going efforts to use Q and multiple to solutions overseas, being brought to the table. But overseas, we Q know that failing. many of you communicated that you that. felt like you were in a hole. They didn't do their due until diligence the until they were in finalized. the middle of it. And that right. made it really difficult for you to build a team, to sell customers and to earn a check. And I am so sorry. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's very layered. We gave this everything. <laughs> There's we a have. hierarchy of... Moral felt integrity. The immense pressure over the last few months to do right by Awakened oh. and by all of you. You all mean everything to us. Awaken means everything I mean, to us. And we have as a clear an advocate, path forward. I do not the delay want coupled to with see all that has been uncovered over the last few months. People who are still in MLM makes it very clear that not from a getting financial, paid for work they've already done. And ethical and a like, personal perspective, I don't want to see that happen. No I think it's good that they Q bail Science. them out. It's the system Today, that needs to come down. We have provided Q Sciences with approximately seven hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars in financial assistance. Not many people are. 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 Not many people are.
we officially served Q Sciences a demand letter letting them know that we are not moving forward with the partnership (laughs) and that the terms agreed upon in the initial MOU require them to return this money immediately. Of course you do. We are going to be sending out an email shortly to all Awakened members with we've read it. Everyone know of our decision to dissolve this partnership. There will be an FAQ in that email that we hope also answers many of your questions. Um, And obviously, if you still have questions, please, please, please reach out to our customer support team. Um, They are completely up to speed on what's going on. So is this like what happened with Posh? And I know that right now it's really important for us to just acknowledge how Dude, we feel. I kind of um, want to go back and look I at, I, I did a whole okay. write-up of what happened with Posh. I think it was exactly this. That and it is also okay. It's okay for you to feel angry, frustrated, whipped around, confused. Um, but also many of you have even communicated that you as are- As long as you're also awake. That there's not going to be this partnership. So. However, a lot of people you are relieved in the moment, it's more than okay. And I'm saying that for you and for me. Um, I hold space for you. I hold oh, grace. they're relieved um, too. They're oh yeah, they are so that. glad to get out of and, this. Um, in this space, I there's still eight hundred thousand dollars in debt by these people. On. Well, yeah, but you on our path and our mission of awakening humanity. And we all know the saying mm. that when a door I don't like that. Things, or when you even close the door, another one opens, and we can attest that that We're is exactly to clear the what is happening now. And awake, really, what has unfolded also, over the last week has opened some pretty incredible doors. Um, we are going to be ready to share that with all of you, all okay. the exciting things that have happened in the last week, probably in the next 60 oh, no. days. Terry so, LaCour called him. Um, we have <laughs> learned. We have learned our lesson when have it comes you? to plans being announced too oh. soon. So you have our full commitment that more thought, more intention, and structure will happen before any type of announcements are made. And I just want to say no to quiet any fears. Another merger is not in our future. That is not any of the exciting news. So you do not need to press pause on anything in fact right now is the time to go full speed ahead um we are getting back to the root of why many of you became part of awakened um the amazing abundance opportunity the incredible products and we're of back course, to being the totally with the courses mindset oh. calls and like i'm pretty that sure that they're using like that nlp that and like left. hypnosis so techniques in this news, video was which is just Monday, like so scary I mean, maybe just maybe we'll extend it a little longer um we hope that this I mean, creates the perfect that. opportunity for you to grab awakened products for yourself and then to share awakened products with new members and customers um the headset also continues to be discounted for the lowest price we've ever had um, and that runs through this Friday, I believe. Yes. Um, aside from products, I also, we have heard the shouts from the rooftops. I've gotten texts, DMs, all kinds of things that you all miss the courses and the mindset calls. And you know what? So do I. So I want to acknowledge the feelings many of you have shared over the last few months when we were attempting to move forward with the merger, um, many of you expressed that you felt like Awaken had lost a little bit of itself because no one was pouring into Awaken Nation like we used to. And I could you guys, agree why are you not pouring more. into That's Awaken why I'm Nation? I'm excited for tomorrow's Facebook it's disappointing. Live, where we will be announcing a calendar of mindset calls as well as the launch of a course that you all fell in love with last yeah, year. It was a good one. <laughs> um, and that we um, we actually, a lot of you are asking for it to come back. So it's coming back. Um, and on the live tomorrow, we'll go over all of the information around those mindset calls and the course that's coming back. And then maybe, uh, mm-hmm. maybe we'll even throw in a couple extra goodies like free membership maybe maybe don't hold me to that but maybe it's a good idea maybe and so tomorrow we are eight hundred thousand dollars in debt minimally don't hold me to it say i will be on at 9 a.m pacific time which is 12 p.m eastern time in the awakened facebook group and then we will be with you and the team the awakened nation team will be with you live at 12 p.m pacific time which is 
3 p.m. Eastern time. I'm getting really good at these time conversions. Um, but in the me. same place <laughs> in the Awaken Facebook group. And we'll go over all the exciting Maybe things. Maybe she can teach about. you, Michelle. When we started Awaken, I would look at to be struggling with the just mission as much, but still get it wrong. You can make a course. People that supported one another it. in reaching time their zone. highest <laughs> potential in all areas of their life. For idiots. So we're committed. We remain committed to provide yeah, we unique products. And we are committed. Combined with the courses and the technology. The dumbass Americans. And we are going to see this mission through in both word and action. And we're grateful for all of you who share this mission with us and remain committed even through the ups and downs. I want you to know that we have some exciting things being planned and we will be sharing more with you over the next few weeks. We've, ac we've accomplished a lot of good together in the world. And a lot of lives have already been changed for the better. And I look forward to shining our lights together as we continue on this mission. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, Awaken Nation. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> and here we have the demand letter. We'll read this because why not? All right. This is all for posterity as well, you know? Is this Okay. Via email, Mr. Wilson, that's Mark, the owner of Q Sciences. Ah, uh, yes. Wait. Content redacted for privacy. Oh, 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 okay. Jake is the president. Jake is the president, co-owner and president, but Mark Wilson okay. is the is the founder, the guy that started and, it. Okay. And CEO? Um... I, I don't know. I, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think maybe, possibly, he's CEO and the other guy's president. I'm not really sure. Okay. As you are aware, my firm represents Awakened with certain legal matters. It is my understanding that on November 13th, 2023, Awakened and Q Sciences um, entered a loan agreement whereby Awakened loaned Q Sciences a total sum of $150,000. The loan agreement was later amended to reflect a second loan of $125,000. Uh, according to the amended loan agreement, the sum of $275,000, which comprises the two loans made to Q-Sciences, were due to Awakened no later than December 29th, 2023. I am also informed that Awakened and Q-Sciences executed a memorandum of understanding, the MOU, <laughs> on or about December 27th. According to the MOU, provisions contained therein are binding on the parties, Further, the MOU stated that if a definitive agreement was not executed between the parties, the loan amount would become due immediately. The MOU also acknowledged that Awakened fulfilled outstanding obligations belonging to Q Sciences in the amount of 521000 The obligation amount related to the outstanding balances owed to Q Sciences vendors for products in possession by Q Sciences. So, like, this is very LuLaRoe as well, but LuLaRoe didn't have someone with a bunch of money to bail them out um, mm -hmm. to be able to get their product. Wow. Um, okay. So next part to date, a definitive agreement has not been executed. Indeed, it has been over three and a half months that the MOU was executed and still the parties have not executed a definitive <laughs> agreement. The delay in executing a definitive agreement has caused significant damage to awakened. And as a result, awakened now must take affirmative action to protect its interest. Given Q Sciences bad faith in this transaction, Awakened will no longer be entering any deal with Q Sciences. To this end, Awakened demands that the loan amount and the obligation amount be paid back in full no later than April 17th. <laughs> they have two days. <laughs> Further, it is demanded that Q Sciences vacate any Awakened premises no later than last Friday. And that Q Sciences cease and desist selling and or marketing any Awaken products on its platform or through its distributors. If these <coughs> demands are not met, then Awakened will pursue legal action. In doing so, Awakened will assert claims for, among others, breach of contract, unjust enrichment, breach of the covenant of good faith and fair dealing, and fraud. And because Q Sciences acted in bad faith and potentially committed fraud, potentially. Awakened will seek punitive damages, which may amount to 20 times any normal award given to Awakened. Please confirm by last Friday that Q Sciences intends to comply with all of these demands. All further communications should be directed to my office. Content redacted for privacy. Okay. So... 
You know what I did? That. Yes. Uh, what I did was um, just a second ago, I pulled up the the write up I had done about perfectly posh, and it, it is even sketchier actually. What what happened there? So it's not. Oh, not I forgot exactly to share this. <laughs> I want to share this really quick. Yes. This is the last thing. This was sent to me today. This house right here. This three point five. Oh, sorry. View tab. I guess I could have done it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, for sure. There we go. This house right here, Ooh. this $3.5 yeah. <clears throat> million dollar house in Utah. Yeah. $20,000 a month payment, approximately, uh, with, I mean, beautiful views, gorgeous, freaking gorgeous. Are you shopping? I'm not, but I'll get to the point in a second. Okay. Um, this beautiful $3.5 million mansion in Utah that's uh -huh. for sale currently. This is um, this is uh, the guy that is currently the president of Q Sciences House. Ah! What's his name? Jake. Jake. This is Jake's house. Jake from State Farm. No. Jake way. from Q Sciences. Yeah. This is Jake from Q Sciences Jake house for sale. Jake from Q Sciences. Yeah. Look at this. Why do you have oh. so many bunk beds? Is this is this a Q Sciences retreat house? Why are there so many bunk beds in this room? That's a double bed. This is yeah. a double. This is Those a double. Big. This looks maybe like a single and another single possibly, but they also could be doubles. This could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This room alone could sleep ten. Possibly. You should reverse eight to 10. Google reverse Google image search some of these bunk beds. <laughs> well, I feel like it. I don't know. Here's another room full of bunk beds. These are singles over here. This yeah. looks like a, at least a queen, if not a king. And this looks like a full. Yeah. So this is another two, three, four, five, six. And how do we know that? I mean, it's probably not the other because the, the wood is different. So this is probably a different room. Yeah. And it's a huge. But house. look at all these. It has nine bedrooms. Look at this. There's a bathroom in here. Like these are massive. This has got to be. But this is massive. Yes, it's true. Here's but another Gina set of bunk beds. As Gina says, I mean, this is Utah. Like, I mean, yes, okay, that's fair whoa. as well. Whoa, whoa, go back to that living room. This is a what? living room. Yes. Do you think this is go for a family of ten, or do you think this is for an MLM party more. of twenty-five? <laughs> Look at these couches here. What? Couches? Okay, so let, let's really analyze this because, okay, this is two sectionals. This is one sectional here. And this is a sectional. This is probably a build your own sectional and they just leave this piece out because yeah. this this whole thing is because this has an arm and this has an arm, but these don't have arms. So this looks like it's completely convertible and you can move it however you want. These look like if you put them here, you could create like another bed right here with these two pieces. But then you also have these couches back here. These are love seats. Love seat. Same as this love seat. Probably seats two. One, two, three. These huge love sack type love seats. And another couch up here. This, I could be wrong because I'm not Mormon and I don't have a humongous family if this is the case. But this doesn't look like a family living room. This looks no. like a meeting space or a movie yeah. place. Or you're having a bunch of friends come over for the weekend yeah. and you're having a huge weekend. And this is where we're all watching a movie or a conference or a speech or a presentation. And you know. Because look at this angle. I mean, and we know I mean, we know from Look having known, we know from having known people who were literally like invited out, like that Q Sciences does like fly people an Airbnb. to Utah and like <laughs> court them, you know, like. Yeah, it seems like an MLM retreat house. Yeah. It's some sort of retreat house. It could be an Airbnb. It could be both. They could own this house yeah. as an investment rental property where they're renting what it out this? as an Airbnb. And on the days that it's not being rented out, maybe they're having MLM conferences. It would be a tax write-off even more so. And it would be a lot cheaper to house everybody in your giant mansion than to have everybody get hotels or rent something else. I mean, this is wild, right? So I don't know if this is their primary residence or if this is their Q Sciences. But look at this. This, this like right here is elevated. 
That's where the Three other couches are. More. See, <clears throat> so that it's up higher. See, it's on an elevated little thing. Like it's on the, this is the sunken living room and they've put couches okay. on well, above. So it creates. This isn't, let me give a little perspective. If that's what this is, and I think it very well could be, it looks like that's the whole purpose of this property, right. honestly. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's not that outrageous, like in the Q sciences, like budget or world, you know, they're obviously definitely their budget. They're though. obviously like already like spending way beyond their budget. They're very, you know, obviously anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is uh, that they're, there are reps in Q sciences that make well over $20,000 a month. You know, right. and that's the rent on something like this, you know, the right. estimate or whatever. So, I mean, yeah. it's not actually like, you know, out of the realm of possibility that they would, you know, have this property for that purpose. It makes sense. I don't think the reps I'm are paying. I don't think I the reps it. are renting. And I think it's probably. No, I know. I know. Like a retreat kind of thing. But OK, so if we I'm look saying here, they could justify like they could easily justify paying for it. Like, oh, right. Like if everybody had to pay a thousand dollars in the bucket. Or something, right. Yeah. If you look here, we have the white couch and the tan one. Okay. So this is, we're looking this way from the fireplace and from the TV. And look how big this TV is, you guys. Like, look how, it's almost floor to ceiling television. How big do TVs even come? Or is, do you think this is well, maybe a projector? a projector? Oh yeah. It's here's the, the projector. There. there you go. Yeah. It's a massive projector screen. Okay. Yeah. There's a projector. So like I said, those, that white and tan, here are the white yeah, and, and there's tan. there's behind those couches. Right there. So yeah. this is behind this mm -hmm. game room with the, with the, workout pelotons room. or whatever and the basketball and the table tennis here is there's the table tennis so here we have darts and a pool table so i wonder if maybe you could even just like look up pictures from various q sciences leadership retreats on facebook well yeah or that's what i'm Instagram curious and about. recognize those pool tables and like yeah. you know those yeah, because if they're room. staying in this house, they're sharing photos of this. this yeah, and this is not a family house. Look at this. This is really this is cool. This is not a family house. But I would want to stay there not with, a family house. you know, you and other friends. <laughs> right. There's there's no, this is not a kid. There's no kid. Either this is like child-free people or this is not a family house because this is not a, even a family kitchen. This doesn't, this looks like no one's moved into it yet. Right. Nobody's, look at all these folding no chairs No family over here is just sitting waiting. on folding chairs around the kitchen table. No. Here's more folding chair. Look at this wrapping station. This is ribbons. Um, I mean, maybe they use it also as their normal house. I have no idea. This just to me, there's so many bedrooms. There's nine bedrooms. And some of the bedrooms we see have multiple, multiple bunk beds of queen or king size bunk beds. And who are you? I mean, I I wouldn't come here and stay with my husband. Property. We could also look up the property on Airbnb. Maybe it's just an investment property. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> this, I would not stay here with, with my husband or my partner sleeping with a bunch of other people. With the This is a bunch of ladies sleeping together or, or people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Two because... washing machines. Why? Because there's so many people there. To have mm. two washers and two dryers. And there was one in another room in a oh, there was at the beginning, yeah. Okay. Another set. So again, yeah, like, one. this is this is either a rental property or an MLM convention space. Yeah. Wow. I mean, look at this house. I mean, shit. It doesn't even look it doesn't look like people live there all the time. Do you know what I mean? It's Look a great question. It's a great question, Michael. Question? I think it's uh wonder if the furniture is included. Oh. <laughs> Look at this house. Surely it is. New. Most of it was custom, right? Maybe they're they'll probably take the love sex, but oh those God. beds were There's all custom. Nothing built. around for <laughs> how many acres is this? Oh my on? God. And what lake is that? We'll find out right here. Look at this. Oh, okay. Is it gonna zoom out? What lake is this? Schofield Reservoir. Okay. Well, that okay. Schofield Reservoir. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I mean, this is another living room area. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely. There's swings. There are swings and like Papazon type swings. Yeah. This is just a, a really well, hold cool. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Okay, this is not the same room because this looks like the other living room with the fire, but there's no ceiling with the projector. So this is a completely different living room. Oh, yeah. This is the... And this is a completely different kitchen. Yeah. And this one actually looks like people live in this kitchen. So I wonder, yeah. but I mean, look, these counters look used. They're all scratched up. Like people cut on them. There's knives. There's spices on the counter. Like this kitchen looks like someone uses it. I mean, it looks I mean, this kitchen clean. looks like it could be an Airbnb kitchen. Yeah. This looks like a kitchen that, that the family would use. Like, so it maybe it's, oh my God, these are, th this is their fridge right here. Whoa. My friend has a fridge like this what it's ridiculous she has how does not it a house open this big. it opens like like this like outward i'm how pretty it... sure wow my friend had a fridge just like this i would be surprised if this wasn't a fridge and this was just like an, a pantry with hmm. french doors but maybe it is i don't but see, I don't see a fridge <laughs> anywhere else um and then look at this even this there kind of stuff, that was it right here but what i'm saying There's is it, yes, there. here it is. Is it possible? <clears throat> and look, two dining rooms, like two. But is it possible that this house um, is also like living quarters plus a convention space? Back on the market, discover the epitome of luxury and adventure in this turnkey property, a jewel nested nestled in utah's majestic accommodating landscape. 50 people comfortably sorry i jumped way down but if you go to like way down to accommodating in like middle of the paragraph right, right i see that hold on um perfect okay a state is your gateway the best you're representing endless opportunities immediately welcomes a great room feature two grand two-story windows wood beam vaulted ceilings designer kitchen anchors main level offering a chef's dream two sinks two dishwashers double oven sub-zero fridge is that big huge thing mm -hmm. perfectly convenient beverage bar uh, filtering That's drinking chilling. water and a pebble ice machine really um it's space transitions seamlessly into an open dining space large enough for two oversized dining tables just think about the unforgettable thanksgiving celebrations you'll enjoy um yes um theater room upgraded subwoofers the whole shebang we saw it all accommodating up to 50 people comfort comfortably this property is a sanctuary for corporate retreats yeah. large family gatherings and a luxurious private getaway so yeah we called it yeah. Um, the master suite is a retreat within a retreat featuring a steam shower, jet tub, gas fireplace, blah, 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 blah. Adventure singles, seekers will delight in the convenience of snowmobiling right from the garage, embodying the ultimate lifestyle of thrill and adventure with incredible hiking and lake access right out your <laughs> door. Master three car garage. Every detail is curated for the ultimate living experience. Good Been Lord. on the market for 88 days. <laughs> thing to know. <laughs> Sounds like uh, just because, after the MOU. <laughs> That's right around the MOU, right? Because yeah, they were supposed like to have their money in <laughs> December. Mm -hmm. The end of December was when they had to. So, okay, so it's a 10-acre lot, partially fenced, uh, sloped, unpaved, hilly, blah, 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 blah. Updated kitchen, double oven, instant hot water. That's fun. Annual taxes. It was built. Okay. <laughs> a fifty dollar HOA fee, fifty bucks. That's like nothing, especially for a three point five million dollar house. Um, yeah, wow, beautiful. But exactly, I mean, this is wow. When was the has... last sale? Like, um, how long have they priced owned it? for sale? Oh, look at here. In January. For sale, mm -hmm. then it was pending, then it came off Valletta escrow, and it's for mm -hmm. sale again. Um, but yeah, they put it up for sale in January. Uh, Previous special warranty one. deed in, uh, in uh, a warranty deed in 2014. Previous owner hmm. mortgage history. Well, the new one was in 2014, yeah. So Interesting. I think that's probably when it was built. Who knows? So yeah. Oh my god, that's very crazy. interesting. A very interesting. A lot of things. Wow. Pebble ice machine sold, sold to the next Herbalife life hunt. So that's funny. That's funny. Maybe it started off as polygamy house because of the two kitchens. I honestly think it it was probably built as like a party house or some sort of a retreat. retreat. House. 
Yeah, it's an MLM retreat house for sure. It's an incentive trip. Yep, do this and earn this trip. I wonder if there's anything where we can find about like, see, now this is in my head. Q Sciences incentive trips, like Q Science Ranch. Like, is there anything on Instagram of people being That's like, oh my I'm God, thinking. we're at the Q Sciences Ranch. It's like, so I want to- I Google. mean, honestly, the, I'm thinking also like, you know, is that, before where class, someone I know, beach. what the hell? Sorry. Something just, that video started playing randomly that Tyler sent me earlier. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, I think, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like that's what I'm wanting to do is like search on Facebook, like just look at Q Sciences mm -hmm. leadership retreats and stuff. And just like, let's see. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I might do that. Uh, I did look, let's see. Oh, perfectly posh. Um, they were basically in that same situation, but um, they uh, actually perfectly posh and innovative nutrition were both already owned by Terry Lacour. So they had he had Terry Lacour owns Q Sciences, or is it part of no. Q Sciences too? Okay. But posh or innovative, which one? Yeah, I'm talking about posh and innovative. Okay. So the same thing happened, like perfectly posh was um, in a lot more debt than they disclosed and uh, or whatever. And that was like the story. Basically, it was this like presented as what Rodney just explained with Q and Q and right. uh, Awaken. But um, when I really dug into it, I realized like, Terry LaCour owned both of those companies. And actually this was just a way for him to get out of paying the money that Posh owed by like, they like innovative after purchasing Posh, like had, they tried to like sue the previous owners or the previous CEOs or what they are called uh, to like um, dispute the, amount of debt that they said they were in originally, uh -huh. but they had already purchased the company. But when you look behind that curtain, like there's no way that Terry LaCour is at the top of all of it and actually owns and is financing both of these companies didn't know how much debt Perfectly Posh was in. Um, like having well, this other not. company I mean, buy it's it obvious. that he also owns was just a way of writing off the debt. And it was just, it's so obvious once you look under the, the layer, but I was thinking this is exactly like that, except there's that extra layer of sketchiness when you involve someone who right. owns literally over 15 MLM companies. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's wild. It's wild. I am um, moving money around and so illegal. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, uh, there's definitely like a lot of stuff happening and I just Googled like, I, or no, I, I went on Facebook and typed in Q sciences and there's all, um, there's a Whoa, lot of like people just talking about like what's going on, but they're like public posts. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like, um, embarrassed and deeply sad to say that I ever represented Q sciences to those I love and those who trust me. While you can't know what you don't know till you know, it still makes me nauseous, especially with the revelations made today. Um, talking about the earn, like the top earners being fired and um, let go because of their core scam thing that they're doing. So the mm -hmm. woman who wanted to make sure Q Sciences sued me, who wanted the world to block me, who tried to drag my name through the mud for months after I tried to peacefully leave, are all now getting sued by the same company. <laughs> oh my God. So... Mm. Someone says, if you are an active Q Sciences business partner, please unfollow me ASAP. <laughs> like, just, so yeah, like it's it's out there. I just have to say, I have never been more thankful that that my eyes to Q Sciences were opened a long time ago. People saying that kind of stuff. Awakened acquires Q Sciences and a lot of drama. <laughs> I mean, yeah, people are, um, people are. Even now, there's ones that are posted just a couple minutes ago of people saying that um, I'm leaving and I've ultimately made the tough, but immediately decision to end my association with Q sciences. Um, a lot of people jump and ship. So I don't think this is the last we're going to hear about it. We'll probably have an update next week. 
next Monday because more is going to happen, especially now that we know. Um, if you guys see anything Q Science related, you can send it to me or Michelle. Uh, anything that we talked about today that triggers you later, you're like, oh, this is this seems like something they talked about or something that was brought up. Um, for me, I just I want to get to the bottom of some of these things because there's going to be people out there that need answers, and I would. Even if I'm not the one presenting it, I just want to be able to be prepared to understand what's going on um, so that we can have these conversations. Plus, this woman that has been sending me these things, <laughs> she's been sending me voice messages all day today. And we've been kind of talking back and forth. And she said, um, I said, you know, we've never done a full Q Sciences episode. Like it's come up, like we did the Jordan Ramsey true crime where Q Sciences was like kind of involved and a couple different things where Q Sciences have come up. And I've done content on TikTok, Instagram about Q sciences and battled them in the comments and things like that. So you kind of play it's not like totally out of my scope, but I've never really done like a full deep dive. And this thing right here that's happening, this woman is no longer with Q sciences. And I was talking with her and she, she says to me, I said, well, if you ever want to tell your story and, and you want to hop on and like help us understand all of this, like we would love to have you. And she goes, she goes, well, luckily for me, I didn't sign that NDA. And I was like, oh, snap. So nice. um, <laughs> yeah, so maybe we'll be having a Q Sciences episode in the future. Um, now that we're get well, once April's over and we get out of some of this heavier stuff, we're going to get back into some funnier MLM stuff. Um, Amway, I'm going to do doing some batch recording. I think when I get back from DC, I don't think I have the energy or the bandwidth to to do that all now. But um I'll do some stuff. Anyway, <laughs> class is dismissed. Thank you so much for, for coming. And I, we just had so much to cover today. Yeah. Uh, check the yeah. syllabus and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Michelle, stay on the stream. Is that? Oh, you. you're in I trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> just kidding. Bye. <laughs> Bye.